So this is a test of the humidity draw. Uh, this is PLA and I've done a test on this already. I filled it full of water and it did seep out. I've got a clock there so you can get an idea of the time. I wanted to try and it's very hard with this glass because like that's basically up to the edge, it's a bit slanty, slanty this, oops, can we see that, good enough, it's a bit like, what they call it, um, what did they call it on moisture, well water, I've forgotten what they call it, where it goes up, surface tension, that's it, so I'm just going to put, pop this on time lapse just now, I expect it to take about half an hour, maybe an hour to do this, or if I, and I won't be touching it and that water will go down well it's been about half an hour I might try and give you a, an update on every half hour and the water is just touching over that edge there capillary water tension whatever lifting it up and putting it over the, almost over the edge this is on a slight slant, so it's a bit up on this end, well the plastic's a bit up on that end. I'll put it back on time lapse. Well, it's still coming up to an hour and you might be able to make out that it is just starting to go below this. I mean, it was coming, almost coming over the edge with water tension earlier. Now, PLA, I understand, can absorb some water, but this is probably leaking. Uh, I don't know, because this might be damp anyway, but I try to dry it off. Right, let's get back on time lapse. Just zoom in a bit on that if I can. Not the best light. Well, you can see the time there. slowly yeah even this side although it is on a slant this side was high above I might move the camera about to try and get a bit better light on it I might just get like a bit of more light on the surface of the water there so I reckon it's about two millimeters below that edge Coming up to three hours, could argue. I'll just splash this up about so you can see that it's getting on for halfway down on that side. So gradually the water's seeping out, so having it just like this is obviously no good. I'm so I'm just preparing it, I've dried it out. I'm going to put some blue painter's tape like round the edge overlapping and I'm going to trim it with a sharp knife. I'll do that off camera. I think most of it anyway. I might show you bits of it, it just depends how easy I find it to do. There we are, try to overlap it so that paint doesn't get in the edges. I'm going to trim on the inside edge with a sharp knife. Press that on there quite firmly. Right there we are. Not perfect. 
but I am not an artist. Now I've just got to use some of this paint factory colour, colour it, gloss finish, crimson red. Just all I've got. I reckon that you should swirl these about, not shake them up. Almost like get the ball rolling about inside for a few moments. Right, I'll spray paint that and I'll come back. I'll give one a few layers, but I'll show you after the first layer. I have to do it from different angles to try and get all the walls actually this side. I'm spraying basically this direction, this side has, hasn't been done too well, but we'll be giving it three, at least three of these coats. See, there's a bit of blue still there. Looks quite thick there. But you have to leave it about 20 minutes. I'm just going to give this a quick spray now, this side from this direction, before I leave it. Well, it's been quite a bit over an hour. I've left this second coat, that's the second coat, I think I'll only do two coats on it, I reckon that should be enough. there but as I say I am not an artist and I never took a major amount of town time over it uh, there's a bit of paint almost missing off this edge there probably some of the blue blue painters tape I was going to say blue tack then blue painters tape was probably hanging over a bit just have a sniff of it yeah, slight smell slight smell of fresh paint well of fresh Service of salt fresh paint. I've just felt a bit of water there. So I don't know if it's absorbed water and it's gradually coming out over here because this was well dry. I'm just going to leave that, I'll leave it all night actually before I even think about it. I'll do another test for it full of water. I think that will be okay because I doubt if you want the water level up to there anyway. In this case, yeah, it's getting quite a bit of water off that. Seems to be near this handle. That's never dried that inside the handle, I'll be enough. You can see that. I wanted to spray some of the paint in the, in the, inside the lid. There wasn't much paint in the tin anyway because I've been using it for other things. And then I use a paintbrush just to paint up to the edges. As I say, I'm not an artist. Now I'm going to do another test on it. Now what I found is, I dried this off with a towel earlier on. And I had it on my, well I was holding it about on my jeans as I was scraping off some of the paint that come over the top edge, just scraping that off. And then I got water out of it, quite a bit of water, I was surprised. So obviously this PLA does absorb quite a bit of water or it is able to. So I'm going to top this up and we're going to see if it goes down. I won't be putting it on time lapse, I'll just come in every uh, couple of hours or so. So there you are, that's right up to the top edge, a bit level there at the moment. Just can you see that? It's just a little bit, yeah, it's up to this, again it's doing the water tension 
on that side that's above the surface magic water sorry about the lighting here so let me move this down oh. so I don't know if you can see that that is just about the surface of the let me go for my height because I can get some of the light reflection there we are see the light reflection reflecting of it okay Oops. sorry about this I'm doing this quite quick um, right I'm just going to leave that now going to leave it quite a few hours and then I'll come back we won't be moving it about or anything well it's been about four hours possibly a bit over and it's still right um, what did they call it water tension or something just Coming up above that edge there. I don't know if you can maybe get the reflections of the water. So that seems to be working all right. I'm going to actually give it longer. I mean, you wouldn't want your water tray like this filling this high anyway. I would say half full before you empty it. Yeah, so that paint, two coats of that red paint, and a bit by hand touch, you know. Well, it's been quite a few hours more, and it's still right up to the top, well above the top, with the water tension sort of stuff. See that? So, yep, yeah. oops, sorry, out of focus there. Well, it's been a significant amount of hours probably about eight hours and it hasn't moved at level just put my finger in it so you can see the ripples see it's right just above the edge with water tension capillary action whatever it is yep so that's obviously made it like waterproof. Now I definitely think that a lot of the water was absorbed in the PLA quite a lot actually because I dried it off with a towel earlier like I say and I had it on my jeans and my jeans got well wettish so something you're going to have to watch with PLA this is only 0.3 layer height, so that might, well, no, because I don't think it's been seeping out so much as absorbing it, but there's a lot of water to absorb that. So don't quote me on that. Okay, that's good enough. I reckon that's been eight, nine, maybe even ten hours. Obviously, in real life, you might want to keep it there longer, but keep an eye on it, because you don't want stagnant water. Hanging about, clean it out every so often.